Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. Today's episode is extremely important to in terms of understanding the fundamentals and the foundations of MongoDB. Today we are going to talk about database, documents and collections. These are the three main bases or I would say the backbone of MongoDB on, on, premi on which premises the entire MongoDB architecture is done. This is a part three of MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out so that you don't miss out on any of the important topics that I'm covering in this particular series. Also, if you have any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. All right, so like I said, this is a part three of the series. Uh, if you have missed out on the previous episodes, make sure you check them out so that you know how to install MongoDB and learn about the basic overview and introduction of MongoDB. All right, so in this episode, we'll learn about what is a database, what is a document, and what is a collection. So what is a database? In general terms, we say database is a collection of data, right? That's what we say. It's a collection of data. And in MongoDB context, we can say that database is described as a physical container of collections. Right? which means there will be multiple databases, there will be a lot of collections. So database is a collection of, is a physical container for your collections, right? A database can have any number of collections. Each database gets its own sets of values on the file system, right? A MongoDB server can host multiple databases inside it, right? So don't worry too much about it. Just think that a database in MongoDB is nothing but it's a collection of collections, or you can say a physical container for collections, right? In just a bit, I'll tell you what is a collection. So what is a collection? Collection is a group of MongoDB documents, right? You can relate a collection as a table, right? Not literally, but hypothetically, because unlike tables, collections do not have any schema definition. Unlike RDBMS database, the collections do not have any concept of joins. However, we can achieve joins functionality using aggregations in MongoDB, right? Some of these may sound confusing to you, but don't worry, I'm going to make it extremely simple by showing you and typing the notes for you. So just stay with me on this for now. So a database is a collection, is a physical container for collections. A collection is a group of MongoDB documents. Right. And then what is a document? Document in MongoDB is a set of key value pairs. Right. Every document in MongoDB has a unique value called by a key called underscore ID. Right. Every document in MongoDB has a unique value called underscore ID. Documents are flexible, have dynamic schema. Since document schemas are user defined, they are not fixed or static. Documents can hold any data as long as they're valid data types in MongoDB. Documents within collection can have different schema or fields. Documents within collection are related data belonging to a particular subject, right? So this is all about the theoretical thing. Now let me break it down each slide into notes for you. So which is you can relate to it easily with RDBMS, right? So think of it this way. Let me first list down RDBMS for you, right? So if you're coming from a database background or any SQL server or database, uh, you would have used Oracle or MySQL or SQL server, right? Or MongoDB, right? These are all different various databases. Now, remember all these, right? Are RDBMS, right? RDBMS, which means they are relational relational database management systems, right? Now, whenever you talk about RDBMS, it means they are made up of tables, columns, and rows, right? Now here, table stands for entity, right? Entity, for example, it can be a person, it can be users, it can be courses, etc., cetera, and et cetera, right? Now columns, stand for schema, which means they will tell the attributes or the fields, fields inside the table, 
right now if i take an example of person i can have something like first name last name email mobile etc etc right so these are all fields inside the table right inside the person so example person table so it will have all of this right so table columns now what is rows rows is nothing but actual data right actual data for these particular fields and data this is rdbms right now let's compare this with what we just learned in mongodb right so in mongodb you have something called three things which is database you have collections and we have documents right so what is a document document is nothing but a simple is a simple doc is a key value key value pair data right and how does it look like it looks like this so you have a data just define it like this now if i have to define the person data using document i will write first name say right and then we can say last name right or you can you can basically give anything for that right so give values that are there and then you can say email right test.com so see this is a document this is a mongodb valid document right mongodb valid document example right so see this is any json file which has key and value becomes a valid mongodb document now you will say so can i say that this is the schema no it's not really right though we can say that but the second document can also have additional fields like this but make note here this document did not have address this has right so we can say right so here you are seeing that this particular document does not have address whereas this document has a address so what we learn here that schema can be different for different documents right they multiple documents belong to a collection now remember i am going the flow in the reverse way first we learnt about documents now i am saying multiple documents correct will become a collection so right so what is a collection i can say set of documents or i can say it's a group it's a set of documents is called as a collection so this becomes one collection which has multiple documents inside it right now like i said can have any number of documents right it can have can have any number of documents documents can have any dynamic schema right they can be same or different now some people will say should i make sure it is same you can have it same or you can have it different it's totally up to us because this is purely user defined schema define schemas in data mongodb and they are not static or fixed right which means we will define the schema we want now collection of schemas in a physical container becomes a database so i can say group of i would not say group it can be a database can have single collection also right collection or more collections right so, so i can say one or more one or more collections together become a database right 
So this is how you can relate what is a document. A document is a simple JSON key value pair data is called as a document. Document can have any type of database, any data type as long as it is valid MongoDB data type, right? Schemas can be different or can be same, right? It can have same schema or it can have different schema. They are user defined, which means they are not static or fixed, right? Remember, MongoDB will add a, a key automatically for each document. That key is called underscore ID. So whenever you insert a document, MongoDB will automatically insert a which will have a unique value always. Unique value for all documents. Right? So whenever we insert a document, it will add a unique value. And now next, what is collection? It's a set of documents. It can have one or more documents. It can have any number of documents. Documents will have dynamic schema. They can, documents can have same or different schema. So collections do not enforce any schema. Remember that, right? Collections do not enforce force any, any schema like you have in RDBMS, like you have tables, joins, all that. We don't have any schema here, right? So no, no joins concept, right? However, we can join, right? We can join multiple collections using aggregation. We will learn that later in episodes. What is aggregation? So don't worry about this. All right. And then finally, when you have a single or more collections together, it is called as a database, right? I hope your concepts are now clear about what is a database, what is a document, and what is a collection? How are they related in MongoDB? This is all about it. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to use MongoDB's Compass application a simple, cool, powerful tool to manage everything at your fingertips right on your uh, application with a beautiful graphical user interface. If you like this particular video, give a thumbs up, like this video, share, comment. Let me know how you find these tutorials. Keep encouraging, keep motivating. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next episode.